a tremendous source of carbon feed for uh, value-added products. They are, have a high carbon content and compared to refined sugars, they are less expensive and can be more readily used to produce cheaper value-added products. Our goal is to produce PHAs, polyhydroxyalkanoates, from these plant oils um, as feedstocks. And the PHAs themselves act as a biodegradable polymer which can replace the plastic that is found in household, industrial, and commercial goods. The copolymer we are interested in is written on the board here. It's PHB Co HHX. This copolymer has favorable properties due to the different chain lengths of the two monomers, HB and the HHX. The HB is a C4 with four carbon units and the HHX is a C6 with six carbon units. These two monomers allow for a more th uh, thermostable and a more uh, pliable polymer that can be used in many different applications. The strain that we use for this endeavor is called RE2058 with a plasmid PCB113 inside. And this produces a very high uh, HHX content, and this polymer has favorable thermal and mechanical properties. Ralstonia eutrophia is known as the model organism of PHA production. It has a high content; it can produce a high content of intracellular PHA. It is genetically manipulable, and it is fairly fast growing, indicating that it might be a useful organism for a industrial process. We tried three fermentation procedures to achieve high yields of the PHB CoHHX copolymer. We started with batch culture, and this fermenter is an example of what a early time point batch culture might look like of Ralstonia eutrophia growing in palm oil as the sole carbon source in one of our standard fermenter vessels. We then moved on with, to an extended batch culture in which we added an additional amount of nutrient at a given time point in the culture. Then we moved on finally to a fed batch culture in which we added nutrient at many different given intervals uh, throughout the culture uh, lifespan. And in these fed batch cultures we tried two different nitrogen sources, one of which was urea the other was ammonium. And urea is a favorable nitrogen source given that it is one of the more cheaply available nitrogen sources that can be used for a fermentation of this kind. The highest final yields were achieved using this fed batch process with urea as the nitrogen source. We achieved greater than 140 grams per liter of cell dry weight of the Ralston eutrophil organism. 74% of that cell dry weight was PHA, uh, which is over 100 grams per liter of PHA total from the culture. 19 mole percent of this PHA was the HHX monomer. And the space time yield or productivity was greater than one gram per liter per hour, which is the highest uh, productivity that's been seen in a controlled fermentation, yielding such high uh, HHX content polymer. So these are, the, these are the highest demonstrated yields that we've seen in the literature and these results suggest the scalability and usefulness for industrial PHA production using our Ralstonia eutrophil strain grown on palm oil as the sole carbon source. Or I hope you enjoyed this video abstract and I hope you enjoyed this wonderful paper production of poly 3 hydroxybutyrate Co 3 hydroxyhexanoate by Ralstonia eutrophia in high cell density palm oil fermentations by Riedel et al., published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering, year 2011. Thank you very much for your attention.